Lord your God is in your midst, a mighty Savior. The Lord your God is in your midst, a mighty Savior. He will rejoice over you with gladness and renew you in his love. Word of the Lord. Do you believe God can renew you? Wouldn't you like to be bathed in a water that renews you? Have you been baptized? Well, then you have been bathed, and this means you can be renewed. And so we have many opportunities to live with hope in sacraments in our efforts to love God our Father more and better. Let's pray today. In the Psalms we pray today, God indeed is my Savior. I am confident and unafraid. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and He has been my Savior. With joy you will draw water at the fountain of salvation. Among you is the Great and Holy One of Israel. Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In the Holy Gospel we heard St. Elizabeth ex exclaim in praise and gratitude and amazement, Most blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. Word of the Lord. Believe it or not, more and more weddings are happening lately with the reopening from the pandemic pandemonium. We were invited to sing as a choir for one last week, and I could tell the wife was, she was going to be Catholic. She is Catholic. The husband was not. She was getting married and confirmed. She was ecstatic in joy and exuberating, for the Holy Spirit was infusing himself, God himself, in her, and he was solidifying the marriage in himself, and this would be forever until they die. The rite was amazing to witness. I'm not sure. I'm not sure the husband could capture everything that was going on in her. Something amazing he could possibly wish for. And they took flowers to Mother Mary. They traveled to offer. Just like Mary traveled to offer herself to Elizabeth, in great joy, something amazing was brewing inside, happening. St. Elizabeth said, For at the moment the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the infant in my womb leaped for joy. Blessed are you who believed that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. Word of the Lord. What was amazing? The fact that the unborn Saint John the Baptist left for joy in the womb? Or the fact that Mary believed what our Lord said? The answer is both things are very amazing. Both happen in faith. Mary was a few days pregnant, a couple weeks pregnant, and Elizabeth was about six months along. Life is happening. This is why we should honor pregnant women, and this is why we should honor our Lord, and we should protect life, and the Father is the Father of all life. There's something real and to enjoy about a child's presence. There's much joy in purity. And Mary said, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We should pray to be lowly like Mary. It is said that she was created for us to model what Israel, God's people, should be like to God. Indeed, the new eve of creation has a morning star to show the way until it is engulfed by the Son, the Son of God. Let us pray the rest of the fiat with our mother Mary to close. He has mercy on those who fear Him in every generation. He has shown in the strength of His arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones. He has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich He has sent away empty. He has come to help the help, the help of His Israel, for He has remembered his promise of mercy. He come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. From your brother in Christ, our Lord, Adrian, at goingforth.com.
Today's random Bible verse generator. But to all who did receive him, who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. Wow, amazing. Again. But to all who did receive him, who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. Amen. Praise the Lord Jesus. Have a good day.